Hey, welcome to Camping with Steve. The sun is setting on another night here, and the sun is also setting on the service life for this old ice fishing tent. We do have the new one now, and this one is really starting to show its age. There are zipper issues, uh, there are burn holes in it, and this thing's been a trooper. I've had it probably six or seven years, probably slept in it for a full calendar night. Uh, 365 nights in this thing easily and sadly it's going to become a backyard fixture now because it's just not reliable enough in the field but it's still got a few years and it's probably the last time we're going to get to see this in a video here but who knows uh, this thing's been really good to me this was the Rapala Asylum 4 uh, they stopped making them but thankfully there's something comparable we've got now that's a little better and more insulated so Without any further ado, I'm going to throw this stove together and we're going to have a nice little night of hunkering down as a send off and retirement party for the Asylum 4. That ain't going to work. Oh, yeah. Now, this takes me back. I've uh, spent many nights sleeping in here. Crazy neighbor has set it up in the yard here when he was looking after the place. And uh, it's about time for a fire. <sighs> Things are getting frosty. Good little stove. Probably a little bit overkill. Certainly overkill for this tent. Flyers, flyers. Bill. More flyers. There we go. We got a nice stack of generously seasoned and dry firewood. And that will be keeping us warm tonight. That's for sure. fire going and that means it's time for a step two. Yes. Now this tent unfortunately is fallen by the wayside. There's issues with uh, zipper separation and I don't even want to poke at that too much. On the other side, there is another zipper here, which we can't even zip all the way down anymore. I think it's probably because of the wood stove over the years shrinking this uh, fabric here. Yeah, there are holes. It's, uh, it's held up pretty good. And we're back from the mountains earlier than expected because the good people at Thrifty unfortunately gave us a vehicle with expired license plates. And after a number of calls, they told us to just drive back with the expired plates, which uh, it, I wasn't too crazy about. And uh, we, we did and we got back okay. But uh, now we have another car rented because ours is still in the shop for another week. As the fire warms up, I'll explain a little bit about this tent. Uh, this is a single layer ice fishing tent. And I've used this on countless adventures. Uh, the long time subscribers will remember this thing. 
and it does collect an awful lot of frost on the inside. Uh, the new one doesn't do that so much. But once this stove gets going, it will melt all that off. Probably it'll be dripping everywhere. But then it'll be nice and dry in here and way too warm. Uh, the stove is overkill. But also the stove jack I put on, that's a neoprene stove jack. I had to cut this into the actual ice fishing tent, which was uh, actually disturbing and I'm still probably scarred from having to cut into this tent, but it has served me quite well. There are issues here with the tent. Uh, we just have general wear and tear that's happening and it gets to the point where I don't trust it, particularly since Crazy Neighbors set it up inside out <laughs> the last time. So we had to like flip it back. I don't know how he got it set up inside out, but uh, that's a question to ask him. <laughs> really nice and warm in here. I'm going to set up the cot. This thing is a little bit convoluted. Uh, it's from Cabela's. Um, yeah. Oh, that's, uh. The real part I don't like about it is there's two extra pieces you got to put in at the ends that hold this canvas top so that it's a, a little more sturdy but to me it just means more pieces to lose but, uh, let's get this set up and uh, yeah it certainly it certainly is cozy in here oh this old tent has done me well but uh, we'll we'll have a new life for this thing right away It'll be, I guess, uh, the secondary hangout in the yard. It's gone together yet. Maybe the fabric is stretching out. That's awesome. Oh, this should be cozy. Extremely cozy. This will be a level of coziness not achieved in recent memory. Uh, the wood stove really gets a nice dry heat in the place. And oh, probably about time for another piece of wood here. Now we're going to have to start cooking some dinner. <laughs> So I got the Dutch oven here, I know, but that's what they're actually called. So I'm going to get a roux going, um, which is you fry up some butter and flour and then go from there. And I know there are certain celebrity chefs that have been trolling people's meager efforts to cook something. Um, we don't want any problems like that. I'm just cooking a camping meal, nothing fancy. So. Continuing with that theme, my butter is actually going to be garlic butter because that cuts out one of the steps of adding garlic. Just break off a big chunk of butter. Perfect. Now I forget what the recipe was, but I'm going to dump in some flour. Yeah, that's probably a lot. And, uh,.
mix her all up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, I forget the actual recipe. I googled it and it looked pretty delicious. Uh, chicken corn chowder. So, onions, of course. Chopped them up at home and brought them out. Well, I probably didn't mention, you gotta set your wood stove to medium high. Whatever that is. Onions nice and soft, so it's time for a little bit of garlic. Chicken broth. Now don't let all the heat in here and the raging fire in there fool you. This will probably take a little bit to boil because it's not exactly a 20,000 BTU stove burner. Considering this is a camping meal, we're just going to haphazardly throw in the rest of the ingredients and hopefully it'll boil. So, potatoes. Canned chicken breast. Peaches and cream corn. Eight strips of crumbled bacon. The uh, chicken chunks were a lot bigger than I thought they would be, that thing. It's like a humongous chunk. But uh, we'll see what happens when this boils down. I'm guessing they're probably going to break apart quite a bit. And yeah, we just let her boil and then we'll finish her off with salt and pepper and a little cream. And yum, yum, yum. Yeah, camping chowder is nearly complete except the addition of a little bit of cream, and that uh, will make everything better. So it's not the proper way to do this, but it is the camping way to do this. And that's just fine. Or we're actually using real pepper. Let's see what it tastes like. Hmm definitely had worse. No, oh, it's hearty. It's a uh, it's comfort food. You know, I do think a little black truffle gouda should uh, enhance this culinary disaster in front of us. I'll lob a few chunks of this off under there. Like heaven. I'm gonna hunker down here for the night. This tent has got me through quite a few slumbery situations in the past, and tonight will be certainly no exception. So, here we are in the darkest hours of the night. Uh, some people might know what that's a reference to, and uh, I'm just gonna take off my muddy shoes because this. Uh, the stove has melted the floor like completely down to mud, which is what happens when you put a powerful stove in a small tent on a bunch of frozen mud. But I'm going to shut the light off here and we're going to hunker down for the night and uh, everything will be A-OK -okay in the morning. Night hey, guys. A good morning, good morning. It's going to be a lot easier to say goodbye to this tent now that we got the new one. Um, it's a world of difference, I have to say. This one, you do feel like you're outside. The other one, it's got to be the insulation. Uh, you feel like you're like indoors, it feels substantial. 
Um, in this tent, you really know you're outdoors. Um, but uh, I gotta get a fire going this morning. I don't wake up all night to keep stoking the fire. This wood stove is going to find its way into the tree house. Um, it's a little bit too big to carry around with us uh, for overnighters. But uh, it's probably going to be a way better spot for it anyhow. And I'm going to, going to look for a new stove for this, uh, for our new tent setup. Something probably a little bit lighter. Because if you're, if you're setting up for a week or two, it's just fine to bring a big stove like this. But if you're filming a video once a week and you gotta, you know, tear everything down, set everything back up again, it becomes a little bit much to uh, haul around a large stove. So I'm trying to uh, trying to get the gear scaled down to a more manageable amount instead of bringing everything <laughs> jam-packed to the rafters and the cars. And I do hope this uh, starts because I want to toast up a bagel. Oh, I was a sound sleeper last night. I checked around and some critter got into my truffle gouda. Either that or I was sleepwalking and got into it myself. So that's one thing to say about zippers that go all the way down to the ground and, you know, making sure you seal off any cracks because there's probably a very happy squirrel right now uh, at my expense. Really nice day. While, the, uh, while that warms up, I'm just gonna take a little peek around. See if I can see any tracks and figure out who stole my cheese. Uh huh, uh huh. Goes right to the tent. I believe those have something to do with this missing cheese. So that could be a little coyote or something or, or a neighborhood dog. I don't know. But uh, that's a lesson about truffle oil. Don't use that in bear season because uh, it's definitely got an aroma. Nothing else in the tent touched. I slept right through the robbery. And uh, I'll be wiser next time. I sure wish I was still in the mountains. And I'm guessing you guys do too. That's uh, hopefully going to happen. I've got uh, the car still in the shop. It's uh, taking a little bit of time. And as soon as that's up and running, we're going to be a little more mobile. But uh, I wanted to do a stealth this week, but uh, things did not really allow timing-wise. So, toast up good. So that that'll be coming up. I'll film another one right away here. We've uh, got our tree up and all our Christmassy stuff kind of done now, so that's good. I have to thank everyone who donated to the Beer Donation Fund, you guys, uh, guys, girls, and everybody. You're all class acts, and uh, that's going to help get us back up to the mountains sooner than later. Because, you know, stealthing is fun, so I want to do some stealthing, and I want to do some really good scenery. And that should be quite possible uh, without leaving the province that we're in right now. There's quite a bit of things to see out there. Woo! Toasty. Everything bagel. If I were working at Dempster's, the first thing I would put on an everything bagel would be cheese. But their opinion differs from mine on how to build a bagel. But it's probably also the reason they don't trust me to run a bagel factory. It would be mostly cheese and minimal bagel. That beats oatmeal.
My suspicions are confirmed. The people down at Country Harvest seem to believe that everything means topping. Sesame seeds, poppy seeds may contain cornmeal. Doesn't sound like everything from where I'm from. Oh well. If you want a good bagel, you just gotta make one yourself. So, the more I look around in the tent, the more it's dilapidated. There's parts falling apart, the stitching's coming apart. I'm gonna miss this tent. Um, there is some nostalgic uh, qualities to it. I did spend an awful lot of time camped out in here. Back in the day when I couldn't afford the apartment to go to school. Spent eight weeks in this one. And I spent another six months in it before that. Uh, that was before I was really filming a channel of any type. But uh, if you like these, please subscribe, guys. Uh, it definitely helps the channel out, helps it to grow. So I appreciate that. Uh, appreciate all of you who have subscribed. And the new tent, it is the Cadillac of tents. Now, I normally don't go out and buy the top of the line stuff. But the new one is from Cabela's. I don't have affiliate links or anything like that. Uh, I did pick it up there. It was about $7.50 Canadian, I believe, before tax, which is an awful lot um, for anyone, uh, let alone someone that goes camping all the time like me. You know, it's I still had to second guess whether I wanted to get it or not. But I know I'm gonna get hundreds of nights of camping into that thing, so. Yeah, if I can if I can get it down to the cost of three dollars a night to go camping, that's the goal. So that thing is uh, it's a it's a great addition. Um, thank you, beautiful wife, if you're actually watching this far in the video uh, for the early Christmas present, and we're going to get an awful lot of use out of that. So cheers, guys. We'll see you next week, and uh, keep on hunkering down at home.